yo 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 all right so today i'm gonna show y'all how to create a color by numbers page and i'm gonna let you choose how you use it you can make digital products you can make a book you can whatever you choose to do with it have a party a paint with a twist party adult kids do whatever you want with it but i'm gonna just show you how to do it feel me all right so let's get into it i'm going to my laptop and i'm gonna just show you all the steps that i took and um i'm not gonna show you all what i'm gonna do with it but i am gonna show you all how to do it and then y'all choose to do what y'all want with it all right so that hey 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 all right so we in my computer and what i'm going to do first this is mid journey and um i'm gonna just use an image that i've used for a separate project uh, let's use mm, that has a lot of color. This is dope. Um, let's use uh, so many colors. All right, let's use. Let's use this. Like it's simple. I can show y'all how to use it and everything. Um, let's save that. So the image like this, right? It's gonna be small in mid journey. So I can either enlarge it or I can go straight to what I wanted to teach you guys. Um sorry if you having a little bit of trouble hearing me. I'm printing some things out that need to get done, so I can't stop it. But um yeah, so we go to vectorizer.io I use this spot all the time like literally all the time and then we go to downloads go to my picture upload 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 all right so with this vectorizer spot like just to zoom in you see how like his lines and uh it's not as sharp it's much sharper over here so this is where your image is this is where it goes now you can like play with this whereas though you see how there's a bunch of colors down here we can reduce it a bit to 16 colors or if we don't want to be as complicated, we could go down to six colors. And it basically works out what it wants to do. Get closer, it breaks those colors down. We can even have some fun and uh, break it down some more. Whereas though we start deleting colors. And it shows you over here what it deletes. But I'm gonna add that color back. Um, I probably delete this color because I think it's like outlines, and I don't want that. See how I removed it there? Okay, so we zoom back out, and we see our image. We got five colors. So what I'm gonna do from here now is go down to specials, generate numbers. It's gonna do what it do. We don't have that many colors, so. It shouldn't take that long, but if I kept it on like 32 colors, it would take considerably longer. Um, again, this is only example purposes. So then now we have this. You see how the lines stay like straight and everything? We want that, right? You can even play with it some more where we widen it up a bit. Whatever. I believe that like adds more numbers yeah because it got like those small little crevices in there so we have this right now we're going to download it right and once we download it we unzip it i want to open it and then now we're just going to see what's in there right 
I use Affinity, you might use Illustrator, it doesn't really matter, but this is the SVG. So let's say you're making a digital file. This might be your cover and you add like all the extra details you want to persuade people to buy your book, your coloring book, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and then let's go back in there. Let's see what else they give us. I like to use SVGs, the lines are just cleaner. And see now it opens it up. Boom, 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 and breaks the colors down. Now, if we were using like uh like how we turned hold on, how we turned this up, I think if we turned it down, it wouldn't be that many colors in there or that many numbers. Um but this is our image, this will be our coloring book image. And you can do as you please with it. Um, let's open up another one. Let's see what else they give us. Uh, the numbers get a little bit bigger. Pretty dope. Um, and then from here, we might be able to like do that type of thing. So maybe you can even give people an option to do a solid picture versus number picture depending on if you want them following a method or not, whatever. Um, have some fun with it. Let's open up some more stuff. Again, I'm mostly open to SVGs. That looks more like a coloring book, so the lines get a bit finer here. But look how close we can get, and the lines are still intact. That is why we love SVGs, folks. Um, I keep going there. And then we can even open this up. And you show this as an example on your cover or whatever you choose to do. And that's it guys. So that's basically the tutorial. Um, do as you please with it. I showed you a few examples. I talked about a few things you can do. Um, but I am interested in seeing what you guys do with it. So either hit me up on Instagram, add me it doesn't matter just get in contact with me with me because i do want to see the things you guys create based on what i teach if y'all like designing videos like this also let me know because i'm a little reluctant you know on what to give you guys so if you ask for it then and if i, I have the means to do it or the knowledge to do it i will so that's it guys peace out